द ग्रेट गेम कॉन्टीन्यूस ऑन योर स्क्रीन यू आर वॉचिंग दैट आई एम डाउनलोडिंग द न्यू हन जॉन वर्ल्ड वन पॉइंट जीरो मॉडल लोकली एंड आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन जनरेट इमरसिव थ्री डी वर्ल्ड फ्राम इधर टेक्स प्रॉम्प्ट और इमेज प्रॉम्प्ट ऑल लोकल ऑल फ्री ओपन सोर्स ओपन वेट्स एनी वेयर ऑन योर एनी डिवाइस This is Fahad Mirza, and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. While it downloads, let me tell you more about this model. This model has changed the game, the way we think about AI-generated immersive worlds. Hanjuan World One is a 3D world generation framework that bridges the gap between 2D content creation. and a fully immersive interactive 3D environment it tackles the limitation of existing methods video based approaches that lack true 3D consistency and 3D based models that struggle with data scarcity and memory inefficiency by using panoramic images as world proxies to guide structured 3D generation let me also show you few of their examples and while you look at these examples let me explain what is happening here so the core idea here is to first generate a 360 degree equi rectangular panorama either from text or a single image using a diffusion transformer which is panorama dit that captures a full environmental context as you can see in these examples this panorama acts as a semantically rich blueprint for building a layered 3d world combining the visual diversity of 2d diffusion models with geometric fidelity needing for real time rendering and interaction as you can see here while you also look at it let me tell you a bit more about its architecture and i also want to thank my sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at that1.co which offers serverless ai model hosting with minimal cold start delays enabling rapid and cost effective deployments and i will drop the link to their website in video description please do check them out okay so let's have a very quick look at this architecture it follows a staged pipeline world proxy generation agentic world layering layer wise 3d reconstruction and that's about it very simple after generating the initial panorama and agentic decomposition process uses vision language models to detect and dis disentangle objects semantically splitting the scene into foreground objects background and the sky layers this enables structured instance level control over scene elements and then depth maps are estimated per layer with cross layer alignment to ensure geometric coherence followed by mesh reconstruction and that is the whole idea behind this architecture and now it is generating the 3d world as you can see let me also show you the vram consumption so it is just consuming this much vram which is 1421 meg which is nothing really it's a very very lightweight model okay so i will let it generate it is going to generate the mesh and then we will play it in the browser to see what exactly it has produced similarly you can go with the image to world and now while it runs in another window let me show you that how you can get it installed like i have done here so these are the commands which i have used in this one first up i'm just git cloning the repo of anjuan world then i'm creating this conda environment they have provided all the yaml files in that repo thankfully and then we need to install these prerequisites this is going to take bit of a time and then again bit more installation bit more um, git cloning and then we are also git cloning this draco dot git just as a format and then you would need to log into your hacking face account for that you would need your read token which is a free token that you can grab from hugging face.co and then all you need to do is to just run this test script and then you'll be able to see that screen i already and by the way let me show you my v, um, configuration of the system so i am using ubuntu and this is my gpu card which i already have shown you
now this takes around 40 to 50 minutes or even more depending upon your uh, system even with 48 gb of vram it just takes long time to generate a very very small uh, world so my other one is still running i said uh, as i said this is going to take 50 40 minutes but i will show you the previous one it it, it generated in the browser now another thing which i have noticed is that it doesn't even fully consume the vram i was hoping that i could tinker with its docker file so that it would use all of my vram but it couldn't so anyway early days we understand that this is something um, they will be improving in the next versions and i also want to introduce you to vast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu if you're looking to rent a gpu on very very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpu so please do check them out okay let's check what is happening you see it is still running um, on the same pace so instead of waiting here i will just show you the previous one which i have generated and give it a go if you face any problem just let me know in the comments happy to help out and once you open this model viewer and then open this file this is the file it generated earlier took around an hour as i said looks pretty good could be improved a lot but i think just with the text from generating this sort of stuff is quite good i have also tried generating few others um especially around minecraft and lego but it was not performing that well maybe i was not using proper prompt also be aware the model has just been released and it is based on flux by the way on the back end so there will be more improvement so i'm expect expecting to play more with it and i will do another video where i will try to see if i can generate even more better images on world play I also want to tell you that this is not the first time Han Yuan has produced something like that. If you just go to my channel, search with Han Yuan, you see Han Yuan has been, you know, dealing with this game craft and all those video models for a long time. I have covered all of them and most of them we have installed locally and play around with them. Not only Tencent, but various other Chinese companies are really working hard on these world models. And I think this could be a new frontier now before i let you go i also want to tell you that um, not only in the in practice how it works is quite interesting after generating the 3d world using this model it will give you a mesh which you can also export as a ply or similar file i think drc or something like that and then you can just upload this file to some html viewer or even integrate into your web application uh, using libraries like 3d 3.js and then that library is going to render the 3d scene or that viewer as they have also given that viewer in their github repo and you can also freely use it where you can rotate the camera inspect individual objects if they are disentangled but you would have to build the application around that so that's pretty much it let me know what do you think please like the video and share it as it helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.